How's it going, everybody? It's BC here with Give Me Signs, where we take your designs to your client's hand with your brand. So today we are still talking about NFTs, guys. I've been a little bit absent. I want to apologize for that, but I've been really busy building up my NFT collection. I go by Nifty BC in the NFT world, and I have a project called Morves that's been doing pretty good. It's been moving along pretty, pretty steadily, and it's uh, been a a fun new experience and I've learned lots of new things and I'm here to start sharing some of those with you. So before we talked about doing an NFT drop and we used uh, Atomic Hub and Atomic Drop X was the first time we did it. And then we did it with, uh, with Nefty Blocks using just the Atomic Drops feature. Well, during that time, uh, Nefty uh, Blocks has now updated it to a new Nefty Blocks Drops. And it's much better, guys. It's uh, levels above what it was before because now you can actually do pre-minted drops. And what does that mean? Well, right now the way drops are set up is that it's minting things on demand. So as someone comes in and purchases it, they get that next mint. It basically just kind of goes in succession, which is good in theory. But the problem is, is that people have already started making these bots that will come in and snag up all the pieces. And if you don't set account limits, a lot of them can go within seconds to one person with a bot and then put on the, the secondary market for much more money. So we don't want that to happen. We want people to actually collect it. We want people to actually be able to trade it and have as many people to have access to that. So one way to do that is to whitelist and to do all these other things. But uh, what's good about the pre-minting is that it kind of, uh, levels of playing field. So in other words, if you were the first person to come in and buy, and you were also the last person to come and buy, you have the same um, ability to possibly get a low mint because it randomizes the mint. So as you buy it, it randomizes which one that person gets. So that way it's a little bit more fair. It also will eliminate the bot issue a little bit because they won't know what mint they're going to end up with. So what we're going to do is hop into Nefty Blocks right now. Um, we already have a new drop set up uh, for my Nifty BC thing. There is a convention in Miami coming up called the Shitcoin Convention. Excuse my language, but it's not meant to be a negative word. It actually, uh, the word shitcoin is actually used to describe altcoins. So not Bitcoin or Ethereum, but like the smaller coins like Wax, um, Cardano, um, Matic, Polygon. So, um, They've done a convention that's going to be happening in the beginning of June, and I am part of a gallery space in there showing off some of my work. And as a, I don't know, a, a uh, an influence, I decided to make a shit coin uh, little sticker guy, and you'll see him here in a second. And uh, we're going to be putting that up. I'm going to show you, walk you through the whole process of how this is kind of put together. Um, and then that way you can use Nefty Blocks as well for your drops and have a little bit better experience. And I think it looks better too, because you actually get this nice drop page that to me just looks better. It's branded, makes your project look better. So let's hop on over and I'll see you inside the computer. Fill up our CPU on your Wax wallet. Now, uh, Nefty Blocks is gonna to connect to your wallet and it needs a certain amount of staked wax on your CPU. And I'm gonna show you how to do that really quick. Uh, first go right here to uh, wallet.wax.io, which should be your wallet. Um, once you're logged in here, you're gonna go over here to staking rewards, click that. And up here at the top, uh, where it says my stake tokens, you're gonna to click stake more tokens. And when you do that, it's gonna bring up this little pop-up. And uh, this shows you where your CPU is, this shows you the net and the RAM, okay? You wanna add some CPU here just to make sure that your drop goes smooth and no one starts getting errors that your CPU got overloaded because you didn't have enough uh, RAM in there or enough wax in there, so. Um, anyway, make sure that this is selected to CPU and then put in, I I'm gonna put in 50, uh, wax uh, just to stake on that and that will give me plenty uh, for this drop easily okay um, it's going to bring up a transaction record approve it success and when you refresh it right now it's it's not refreshed refresh the page and you will see that it has been updated and you can check it and you can see i have a little bit more cpu over here to use so that's what you want to do first before we move on to the next step
All right, guys, so we are here at Nefty Blocks. It's neftyblocks.com. Uh, and when you get here, you're going to log in up here on the top right. I'm already logged in, so, um, but right here is where you log in. Once you're logged in, it's going to stay on this page, guys. Just click on Manage Collections. And here's my collection, Nifty BC. And now when you get to Nifty Blocks, if you saw my other video, um, we did these, the atomic drops, okay? This time we're gonna be doing the Nifty drops. And the big difference here, guys, is that the Nifty drops are pre-minted. In other words, the, uh, the drop will basically randomize who gets which mint. In other words, when you do it on atomic drops, like down here, like we did on the last one, it mints on demand. So as the people come in, that's the mint that they get. With the Nefty drops, it makes it a little bit more fair because there are bots out there, guys. There are a lot of sniper uh, type uh, collectors. And what it does is that with this, you might be late to the party, but you still might be able to get a lower mint. And so that's what we're gonna be doing. And also it has a really nice looking drop page that is branded to uh, whatever your project is. So let's get into this. So first when we get here, before we even get into the Nefty drops, guys, let's get down here and we want to make sure we have enough RAM. Now, I have plenty of RAM for my atomic drops, but I almost have, I have nothing here for the Nefty drops. So make sure we deposit some RAM into your Nefty drops RAM. I'm going to put in uh, just 50 for right now just to get something in there. And that's going to give me 1,280, guys. Right here, it tells you how many you're going to be able to get. So um, that'll give me uh, 1,280, which is great. Okay, so I'm going to prove that. And I'm not a robot. And there we go, and there we go. Okay, so now, as you can see, we have uh, 193 kilobytes of RAM, which will give me 1,279 NFT mints, okay? Now, I'm only going to be doing a uh, 200 mint drop today, so I have plenty now. So let's get into it, all right? So let's go up now to manage Nefty drops, okay? And oh, we got it's going to say missing authorized account because this is a new part of uh, Nefty Blocks. I'm pretty sure you got to add your authorization to it, which is not a problem. We can do that. This is going to bring up a uh, an approval box like you did right here. And there we go. We are in. All right. Now we're ready to start creating our first Nefty drop. So click new drop. Um, we're going to do these pre-minted. You know, I think that is a good way to do this. We're gonna add an asset. Um, I'm gonna be under my morbs and, oh, actually, no, no we're doing Nifty BC today. Oh, no, we're not doing Nifty Sticker. All right, I have a few different schemas, guys. Uh, Nifty Sticker is a brand new one where I'm gonna be doing uh, a little bit more uh, reasonably priced. Uh, Okay, so um, once you bring this part in, it's gonna bring up this little warning here, okay? No pool found for asset. In order to make a pre-minted drop, you need to create an asset pool and it allows you to do that right here. So let's create a, a pool. And we're gonna create that schema. We're using that nifty sticker and oh, there it is. And there we go. Okay, all right, so now we wanna mint uh, some more. Uh, we already have 35 pre-minted um, and I have 250 total max quantity. Um, and so what I wanna do now is go ahead and mint another 150 because that's what Nefty Blocks allows is an extra 150 per uh, time you can mint. So we're gonna do 150, which will bring me to 185 mints out of the 250 mints, okay? Um, go ahead and hit mint. It's gonna bring up a transaction history. Uh, request and there you go hit prove and there you go assets are minted now you don't see anything change right off the bat uh, so what you want to do is hit refresh and let's select that schema and template again and now oh there they are you'll see a bunch of zeros next to them and um, what you want to do down here on the rows per page at the very bottom here change this to all and it'll bring all of them up for you, okay? Now what we're gonna do is basically just select this top little clicker button right here and it's gonna select all of them down. Now I wanna keep some uh, that are not going to be available, okay? So I have those already pre-minted with numbers, so I'm just gonna uncheck those just really quick. Um, 
Now you can pre-mint them on Atomic Hub, you know, before you get over here to Nefty Blocks. Um, I do these for giveaway, giveaways, guys. There's a, a big convention coming up uh, for, uh, it's called Shitcoin Convention <laughs> uh, with Ken Bozak and the rest of the peeps out there. And they're, it's kind of like an anti-Bitcoin uh, kind of convention thing. Anyway, uh, I made this little uh, drawing for it and it's part of another piece that I'm doing so um, anyway we're going to mint these now so everything is selected other than those pre-minted that are way down here at the bottom these ones I, I'm leaving uh, for me to, for giveaways um, scroll back to the top guys and we're going to just click add selected it's going to bring you up another request and I'm not a robot and there we go and boom they've been added to the pool and as you can see the ones that are left are still here for me uh, to use uh, for my giveaways and those will be over in Atomic Hub as well um, and now we can just go back to our drop pool and as you can see there is our little guys pulling up the uh, the thumbnail of it um, and as you can see right here um, we have 185 mints available out of those 250 and that's what we wanted um, and right now the pool size is 155 remember because I didn't mint some of them okay so I have only got 155 out here that I'm going to be uh, being able to put into this drop so now we're ready to go we got um, we got our pre-mints in and now we're ready to go and make the actual drop. So now let's go back here. Remember, make sure that you have uh, Nefty Drops RAM in here. I already put some in, I showed you that earlier. Make sure that your pool is there and that, that's what we just created. And now we're gonna do the actual drop. So um, I haven't done any Nefty Drops yet, so that's why you're not seeing anything here. Uh, we wanna select this button right here, pre-minted. We wanna add that same asset, which is the Nifty sticker and the shit coin. And it's going to bring that up um, and now we can just basically uh, put in the the information for the actual uh, nft so i uh, got my title i have uh, my description um, okay All right, so I'm just putting that stuff there. Um, this is going to be priced in wax. I'm going to do it for 13 wax. Um, and the limits, there's going to be 155 claimable. That's what I did earlier. Um, and now the account limit, I'm going to actually raise the account limit on these because I'm going to use these for tokens to burn later on for blends that Nefty Box also offers. So I'm going to actually raise this that you can get uh, 10 at a time if you wanted to. So um, let's see how many people want to get. So we'll see. Um, and then the uh, cooldown, I'm going to probably put, actually, you know what? Let's change this to, yeah, let's just, let's leave it at 10. Let's leave it at 10. Um, with no cooldown limit, you can just get 10 and that's it. I'm going to start this actually today, uh, which is the 17th. And I'll probably do this at, uh, let's say, um, let's do it at three o'clock. Let's do it at, at three o'clock. Um, remember, this is in uh, military 24 hour time, so it'd be 1500 hours. And I don't want this to be a secure drop. We're ready to go, I think, here, guys. So let's just double check everything. You got your pre minted selected. We have our current pool size of 155 for this um, template. And we got it for wax, 13 wax. It's going to my wallet, which is where I want it, but you want your wallet there. It should pop up automatically. Um, the limits, 155. This should match or be lower than this, okay? Match or be lower is your uh, max claimable. Um, your account limit, um, I set this to 10 so people can get 10 at a time if they wanna load up on them. Um, there won't be a cooldown on it uh, and it's gonna be for today at 3 p.m. and this is a uh, Pacific Standard Time um, and this is gonna probably be uh, depending on where you are in the world. So we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and create this drop, guys. Let's see how it goes. It's gonna bring up a transaction record. Uh, hit I'm not a robot 
and there we go and the drop has been created and there it is we have our drop so now we can go to our drop page and our drop page will bring this up boom and there we go we got our drop page and we are ready to go so um it's going to be up in about four hours 13 wax everything looks good guys so we are rocking so this is our first pre-minted uh drop so hopefully you guys uh, learned something from this and if you have any questions we'll go over that probably in another video i'm going to go over blends next because this is part of the blends uh, tutorial as well so uh thanks a lot if you have any questions leave them down below in the comments all right guys so now you know how to create a drop on nefty blocks using the nefty blocks drops option doing a pre-minted drop so uh this gives you another option guys you can still do the old atomic drops that's also an option on nefty blocks as well Either one's gonna work out good for you guys. Um, on the next one, we're gonna take it a step further as I told you in that, that last little piece. I'm gonna be using these stickers actually as part of a blend. Now, a blend is when you take uh, multiple NFTs and you take them to the blenderizer and you throw them in, they basically burn that out and then create a new, better NFT. So um, that's coming up soon. I'll hopefully have that up in the next couple weeks or so, guys. So anyway, I hope this helped you guys out. If you have any questions, Please hit the like and subscribe, comment down below. Go visit us on Facebook at uh, NFT uh, Collectors and Creators and also at Heat Press Creators where we do the merchandise uh, DIY style in your house using heat presses and um, everything from sublimation to heat transfer vinyl. So thanks for tuning in guys and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>